Taurus. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be a reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Seven of Swords on the split, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Ooh. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Seven of Swords on the split. Mm. Could be making plans. Could be making new plans. Could be making plans in secret. Could be dealing with somebody that's making plans in secret. Could be dealing with somebody a little sneaky, a little deceptive. You also could be sitting in very content energy within yourself. Maybe knowing yourself enough. Six of Swords of the end. Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups. So, okay, Taurus. Death on the bottom. A lot of change is happening in your world, Taurus. Um, you could have recently be coming out of a period of feeling like you're having to mm, go out of your way to make it, to make your voice heard. Maybe feeling like people are not hearing you. Um, I see there is, in the center of your reading, this desire for wish fulfillment. There's this desire for a happy family, for a little a fucking house in the hill with a little picket fence, you know. There's this desire for home and belonging and togetherness. There's this desire to love and give of yourself to others. Hmm. And that's very Taurus of you. And then to end that spread, we have the Six of Swords. So it's like, whatever your desires are, I feel like you're desiring it so much. You're so tired of this old narrative of feeling like you have to speak your mind and stand up for yourself. You're so tired of that, that you're like, well, fuck it. If I can't have it here, I'm going to go find it somewhere else. You know, these desires I'm speaking of. Taurus, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this message finds you while you are in good health and good wealth. Oh. Clarify the seven of wands for me, spirit. Hearing shuffle on the split, the hermit in reverse. So you could be needing to take some time alone, take some time apart, take some time away, away with the six of swords. Just saw two, three, four on the timestamps. Timestamp, take some time away. Um, don't feel bad about doing it because it seems like your environment is testing you, Taurus. Seems like. If it's not spirit testing you, it's your environment just testing you. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah, and this shit has you up. This shit has you on edge. It has you restless, Taurus. Seven of wands clarifying. Clarified by the four of swords in reverse. It has you up. It has you losing sleep. And then ten of pentacles or ten of cups. Sorry. Ten of cups clarified by the five of swords. You thought your past was rooted in your 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 complete happiness, wish fulfillment. Just saw three two three on the timestamp. You thought your past was gonna be your happy ever after, but you're seeing that that was never really a stable foundation. That was never really built on a stable foundation, Taurus. <clears throat> Ten of Cups and the Five of Swords. This is something. These are wishes that were not being wished upon under true pretenses. These were false pretenses that these wishes were being even dreamed, wished upon. Like if there was a shooting star and you were with somebody and you thought it was the love of your life and you both wished for whatever you wished for, but your wish was to be with that person forever and it be happy ever after. And you thinking that that could actually be possible, but it's like there was just with that seven of swords on the split at the beginning, there were secrets that kind of you were unaware of. And so how could you dream that dream under true pretenses? Like it was all false. You just didn't know it was false. If that makes sense, Taurus. That was a terrible analogy. Thank you, Spirit. High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, tower in the middle. Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups at the end. Clarifying death is the Page of Cups. So through this transformation, through this change, Taurus, there's going to be great opportunity presented to you. It's going to be opportunity that might call you to stand up for yourself. 
um, it's definitely going to be new experiences, new opportunities. So you might be a little restless. You might feel a little, it might feel a little counterintuitive at some points to make some of the choices that you're going to have to make moving forward. But at the end of the day, this change is needed to happen for the betterment of your soul so that your wishes could be fulfilled. In what ways are you holding on, Taurus? In what ways are you holding on with the Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Tower? In what ways are you holding on? And what, 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 what do you need to let go of in order to see these wishes be fulfilled? What do you need to let go of in this Five of Swords energy? Like... And that means in the mind as well. What do you need to let go of in order to see your wishes truly be fulfilled? Because wherever where you know, you know intuitively where to go. With this high priestess in reverse, this is still the high priestess. Don't get it twisted. They're just not tapped in fully. You're just not tapped in fully because you got all this other shit on your mind. So it's like you need to get out, get an escape, go connect with nature. You need to go. Their grass is greener on the other side, I promise you. You just need to go find it. You know, we had that hermit in reverse. I see this being you, actually. I've never seen this in the Five of Swords before. I mean, I've seen this, the whole picture in this person, but I've never seen the, I've never seen who this card comes out for. I've never seen them being this one, this hermit person up here, surrounded by the swords. You're surrounded by the swords right now. Your higher self is getting you out of those waters. This is your high priestess right here. This is your higher self getting you out of those waters. Clarifying that you're moving on, letting transformation of death. Look, it brings you out of this Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords reverse. It brings you out. Letting this transformation happen to us is going to be the best thing you ever did for yourself. It's going to bring you stability, abundance, balance, wishes fulfilled. This ten, Oh, my goodness. I love that, Taurus. We have the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords. You choosing to see the truth in a situation. And it's going to have to be a conscious choice. You choosing to see the truth in a situation is going to get you out of that situation, Taurus. Promise you. Promise you. Taurus, you're going to great places. We have seven of wands again on the split. And the four of wands on the bottom. Okay, look. Seven of wands, seven of wands. Taurus, you're having to... You're having to... You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to speak your mind. If you want some shit done, you're going to have to get it done. You know? If you want to leave this old narrative in the past it's going to be the choices that you make that help you leave that in the past just saw 737 on the timestamp. i'm flowing for you taurus i'm flowing for you if you want to get something done you're going to have to do it you can't rely on anybody else right now taurus you cannot because you got too much shit going on i'm being called to take them or to read them not take them ten of swords nine of pentacles hermit, hermit reverse so look you need to go take some time off and be you need to go take some time for yourself right now because Right now, I think that you could be feeling like things are just moving so slow and it's so, you're working so hard, but things are just moving so slow. Really, there's just secrets being hidden. There's secrets being hidden. Could be you and a fire sign. We have the king of wands, nine of pentacles, and the moon. There's secrets being hidden. And there's a divine feminine and masculine involved. Or this is just you really being in balance and in tune with yourself. But at the end of the day, the secret's being hidden either from you to you or from someone else to you. And that's what's kind of leaving you fucked up. We have justice in the five of swords reverse. So you making this choice. If you don't make the choice, the divine is going to make the choice for you of the things that you need to leave in the past. I know that sounds harsh, but life has to keep going on. We have the star on the bottom. Your wishes will be fulfilled. You just have to let go of some shit first. You really do. You got to release some shit. You got to release some toxins some toxins it could be talking to a Taurus that has um like substance substance use dependencies or something like that because i saw the ten of swords twice clarifying the seven of wands four of swords reverse high priestess reverse we have the king of cups all of the decisions that you're making are for the betterment of yourself, of your soul, of your path, Taurus. I do see that. I do see that. But there, there, are, there are energies that are opposing yours right now. And I see that you are, you're having a hard time adjusting to that, Taurus. 
it keep it has you restless it has you feeling out of balance out of sync with your intuition with out of sync with your higher self but you're still like moving forward with love and i think honestly it's just this energy of death in your auric field taurus that's throwing you out of balance so much i don't think it's really another person so much as yourself um with this ten of swords in reverse it's like you're finally waking up to the fact that it, oh it has been me the whole time yes the blindfolds coming off Taurus and victory is yours and happiness is yours and you're communicating on a divine level right now Taurus because <clears throat> all right we have the page of cups to start off right page of cups and then it goes eight of swords reverse this is the blindfolds coming off you're finally seeing these new opportunities you're seeing what was always there but you're seeing it as if you hadn't seen it before the answers that you were seeking that were within you the whole time then we have the queen of wands you waking up to that wakes up something inside of you and it just leaves you feeling like <laughs> i don't know you're just feeling very authentic you're feeling very you you're feeling very powerful and people are seeing you kind of effortlessly and then we have the six of wands under that this is like you're being you're being elevated in some way shape or form Taurus for waking up to who you were in the situation around you it's a messy one it's a messy one and it to have death to top it all off it's like you know you need there's some ways about you that need to die you could be um it doesn't have to be like a sad like oh i love this part about me and i have to let it go now like no <laughs> no it just you just there's some ways of thinking that are outdated um that you've outgrown you know so you just need to fine tune those readjust those um yes and then after the six of wands we have the sun and the eight of wands so it's like fuck dude what is it? You just made all the right choices. You made all the right choices. And it was not, it would have been very understandable if you made some wrong choices, you know, because you were really, really tested in this chapter. We're going to get some cards of advice, but we're going to do them from the tarot this time. Over here. Usually I use like an oracle deck for cards of advice, but... Oh. Seven of Wands again is your advice. So definitely speak your mind when you feel you need to speak your mind. King of Cups reverse. I mean, King of Pentacles reverse. So watch where you're spending your funds. Watch how you're spending your money. Watch how you're sharing your finances, sharing the love. And then we have the Empress in reverse. Examine the ways in which you are being out of character. Examine the ways in which you aren't being yourself, fully yourself, and truly yourself. Whatever that those ways are, those are the ways that you need to depart from. And you're the lovers in the bottom. Could be dealing with the Gemini, could be dealing with the Taurus, could be dealing with any Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn. But hmm. look at the ways in which you're being inauthentic. Correct those. Stand up for yourself. Speak your mind. And let death transform you because new opportunities are here and your wishes are going to be fulfilled, Taurus. You have the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, the Empress, King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, twice, King of Cups. You're set up for success. What are you going to do with it, Taurus? I'll see you soon.